So you decide that you want to build your own website with TimeDream. My name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can actually do that. But before we go, go and jump into that, uh, I got a proposal for you. There is going to be an affiliate link down below in the description for TimeDream. And if you're going to choose it and you would actually go with a launch plan in the future, uh, what you can do is if you're going to through the link and you will let me know in the email that, okay, I got a launch plan, I'm going to give you the feedback to your website. So you would choose a plan, you would message me on the email down below in the description. And then like, okay, I got a launch plan. Can you give me the feedback on the website? I build a lot of websites and TypeDream is an amazing tool. It's different, but it's still really good and pretty cheap. So uh, that's what kind of deal we can have together. What do you say about that? Now, when you're going to have it and you're going to click on the link on next to the login, you're going to have sign up. So here I already have my own account, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to log out and let's, we will go together now. So sign up here and now I'm going to copy the mail and I'm going to create account here. And I can have, let's say Google create account. And now they're going to send me an email for verifying the address. And now we need to choose a template. So uh, my recommendation is you can build things from the template and just optimize it. It's a much quicker way comparing to building it by yourself. Uh, but it's like up to you which way you go. Like let's say I'm going to choose the software as a service or let's say you can have a portfolio or CMS or web free. So let's say I'm going to have portfolio or like up to you. Pick a template and then you have to choose a home design, home page, how it's going to look like. And I'm going to explain to you on uh, the side how it looks like the, in a template. And then we are going to try to create something together. I'm going to show you how we can use the features. So let's say I'm going to have this one, personal site and add pages. So let's say I'm going to project page about us, build my site. And now I'm going to like X this because I know how it works and let me just show you how it works. So what is type dream actually about type dream is all about, it's really similar. I would say to a uh, web flow only because you're going to have using a lot of slashes and that way you're going to add multiple things to your website. You can easily add hero like these. These are the sections in those sections. You're going to have a blocks. You can always move all the blocks by just grabbing it by these six squares that you're going to find always here. You can grabbing whatever and just move it and paste it. Right? So that's, that's how we can actually do it. On the left side, you would always see that you have option to add a new pages. And that's like pretty much how it works. Those are the basics, basics of basics. Now I'm going to create a complete new website because I just wanted to show you how it works and uh, the like the default. What are some processes behind it? Now I'll click all sites and I'm going to create new site and I'm going to click start from scratch on the bottom. Now when I have you right here and uh, what we can do first. So these are the page home page. I can add a page here on the left side and let's say this is going to be Oh, this is a sub page. That's not what I wanted. Sorry about that. Uh, you can always rename uh, the, uh, the page. So let's say this is going to be our, like, I don't know, portfolio, let's say. So there'll be home and portfolio. Then you could have the page URL here. And you can always connect it to your web uh, custom domain if you have your own uh, plan with type dream. So when you have that and when we are in the United, how we can actually use it and what are the possible ways. So to use it, you need to first add navigation bar. You don't have to have it if you don't want to, but you can have it. So I'm going to click add navigation bar and here it's going to be just a navigation. So I will click here on the unicorn. Here you can change the logo. So let's say I'm going to add a text, which is going to be Marcus affiliate. And then I can 
choose the URL. So where it's going to be linked to, it can be linked to external website, to somewhere on the homepage, up to you. Then I can open a new tab. So I can have it right here as a URL. You can change the font, always change the text color, and you can remove the logo. Then you're going to have option to change the logo and upload something. So I can have it as an emoji. Or I can simply upload here. And let's say I'm, I have my own picture here. And this is going to be my logo. That's like me. Uh, then you can change the alignment of see here. You can go and change the style. Blur, etc. And see that like the small line here. It's going to like pop out a little bit with nothing or just have like those little line there. And then you can also have like a little bit blurry. Then you can change the position if you want to stick to top or no. And you can remove the navigation bar. Then you're going to find a navigation bar at the settings for your navigation menu. So I have the home here and that will be the URL where you can open it in a new tab. Then uh, you're going to have about here. So you can add about uh, and again URL. Then you can change uh, the type here. And this is really interesting. So what you can do is to click plus here. And let's say this can be the product, for example. And here I can change the type between the link, the button and the drop down. So I'm going to zoom, zoom in a little bit how it works. So link button drop down. This is the link. I can have it to button like we see on the right side or I can click on it, change the type to drop down. When I'm going to change the type to drop down, I can add an item inside. So I can always change the column settings and how it actually works the items. So right now that imagine this, we have the product and we want to add some items there. You can just come here and like, I don't know, uh, do something. So I can have item settings here. I can change the type if it's going to be product, something, let's say some simple product, product name. And let's say I'm going to have slash here and I'm going to have, let's say button, right? And you can easily add that. So you see that you can easily add it away, change it, modify it as you need. But these are the column settings that you can simply add a section title, item settings here, for it and here you would be able to add a product let's say name and add a url it's like completely up to you what you're going to add in your drop down but it's like possible also again optimize it as you as you need so yeah i'm going to delete it for now and change it to link and then i can click plus again and add another type of menu so when we go further you can also edit the bottom on the top right. On the top, you can always go back, undo and redo. That's like really good. You can have like X-ray mode. X-ray mode means that you would see everything, how it works. And to actually like, when I was first starting out with this website builder, uh, I, would, I was really like kind of, I didn't know how to always add new things. So I added something, right? And like right now that I have, uh, let's say a button or a column here. I didn't know what to do here to actually get to a new something, right? So this is a block type spacer, but right now look at this. Sometimes I just don't know how, how can I get a new line here? So there was a problem with this and I always have to, I still didn't figure it out how to do it. So I have to go back, back, and right now I edit it. So now I can do it. I still don't know how to solve this. It's possible if you know the way, if you figure the way how to do it, I'm really happy to know uh, how you can actually do it. So what you can do, commonly used, you can add a text. Text, you just start writing. Then I can have a slash here again, and I can add a heading. So this would be the my website. Then I can click enter again and I can add a heading to 
and then again heading for, like again slash and heading free. So when you have it, I'm going to press enter and I'm going to show you first everything and then you can like build it up. I will slash here and I can add collection. Collection, uh, it's going to be collection template that you're going to have. Look at this. You can have like blocks like this, like this, or this one, or you can have knowledge base. And you're going to be like pre prepared for you. So this can be like your features that you can have. Then you can have directories. Again, something really amazing that you can have. Shop. This would be like your store. Testimonials even. And also your team. So these are the collection templates that you can add to your website. And let's say I'm going to have, I really like this one here. And now the collection features on your web on the port plan. Uh, upgrade now to start con connecting your table and showing your list of items. So you need to actually like connect it. So that's something you can do and but it's available in pro plan. If you're going to upgrade, you can easily connect notion with it and then have it directly there. Now, when we go back and again back, that's a collection template. And what you can do is to have not only collection, but section template when I'm going to click on the template. And what I can do is simply add a hero. So let me just show you before we gonna come into it. This is just a beginning. So now we would add a hero. So section template, select a template. And let's say I'm going to add Okay, this thing here. Right? And how it works, look at this. These are all sections and blocks connected together. So I can have become the best version of yourself. Then I can simply edit this that you're going to find on the right side, always the block types, you can change the block types directly. So you can even optimize everything. Then you can change the text format, alignment, style, color, highlight color, all of that you can easily change. Now, when we go further, you're going to have the image here. Then I can replace the image the source of it if you want to. And then like, let's say on a button, you can again on the right side, you can have all the settings that you can optimize it with button text format, inner text call, you can add a link where it's going to link to I'm going to remove my camera so you can see everything better. You can change the link. Now when we go even further, I can have this slash here. And right now, okay, this is another thing that's happening sometimes. And I don't really understand it, how to solve this. Because like, okay, right now I'm here. Like, where is my slasher? New collection? No, like sometimes this happens. And uh, for the sake of this, I, I can't shift tab. I sometimes don't know. Add a new block. Yeah, here we go. On the bottom right, you're going to find add a new block. But again, here it is. And then we're going to go further. So some, okay, I figured out on the video, that's fascinating because it's really hidden on the bottom right, add a new block. So if you will need that, you will find it right there. We can add again, section template and choose a template. So we're going to have the hero, we can have the features. So these would be the features that you can have. Then you can have also clients, events, even pricing plans, shop, then collections here. Then you can have also the footer and CTA call to action. So a contact form. So let's say that first we're going to add some features that we actually do here. Okay. And these will be the features. I can come here and add a slash. So let's say again, we're going to have the section template and I'm going to have a call to action. Like this one. And it's like, 
pre-prepared directly for you and look at this like like sometimes wh why this is happening right sometimes this is really tricky because uh, i would say that if this is even in development okay and right now look what happened it's here again like god damn man so here i'm going to add a section template and let's say i'm going to have this call to action or this one see grow your business with mailchimp and out the email right here now i can again come and add a new block we have the new block i'll press slash and to go even further we can have container in container you can easily drop items inside so you can create your own something like this you can easily have it right so you can add let's say that i'm going to have slash and let's say first i'm going to have image that image i'm going to move to here i'm going to add new blog again on the bottom right and i'm going to add a button okay we have the button then i'm going to center to meet and then let's say i'm going to have an add new blog again and i can add another image so this image is going to be here and we have the one button but what we're going to do is we're going to add a different button here then i would again click button and voila here we got two buttons under uh, in our own section so as you can see i created our own first section but that's not only that i can click add new blog here but we don't want to have a new blog here and we can add a text this is a description and i can move it between uh, the images and buttons and i can add a new blog again which is going to be again another description so as you can see you see what i'm actually doing right now that i got and i can center it to the middle again so if i need <clears throat> if i need to create it by myself and see you need to really play around with it alignment to middle and you can really play around how much uh, you want and you can optimize it so I would add a simple description here so yeah that's how it's possible and you can then easily delete it delete this and that's how it's possible right so when we come here I can add a new block again and I can add a sync container with something so select ex existing sync containers then I can add a new block again and I can slash here and you can always add let's say empt so this would be an html a video a code something that you can add so that's another interesting thing and then I can click here slash and I can add a to-do list right And I can have simple lot of to-do lists directly here on the website. I can click add new block again. And I can have accordion, divider, quote, all of that. So if you want to add also HTML, block type, you can have it right here. Add new block again. And then I can add also a divider. And you can always make it bigger and add new block again i can have accordion item header and that's like really how you can use the features it really depends what you want to do with it but my recommendation is definitely work with the templates work with the sections and then optimize them change them but of course you can like build it just by yourself how you, how you want now when you have the website and we're going to play around it you can always preview it how it looks like 
and you can change uh, the lightning or dark mode on the top right. And then we see how it looks like here. Image, buttons, all of that. You can also change the preview mode on mobile, tablet, and then oh, you can on top right and click publish. Okay, and that's how it works. Then on the left side, uh, you can simply add multiple websites and you can add a page in a page, so it's like there's a sub page. When you're gonna click on your page here, you can change the URL, you can share to web, SEO sharing, but you need to upgrade for it. Then when you would click under all sites in site settings, here you can change the logo, the site name, the site link, custom domain, all of that you can add right here, the icon. So that's pretty much it, how we can use the type dream. So thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, you can easily um, like get a paid account here, then you can message me an email and I'm going to give you the feedback for your website. So thank you very much guys. And thank you and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.